Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. What do you get when a really ambitious Blue Origin employee and a really ambitious SpaceX employee forms their own company? You get Relativity Space, who's aiming to completely change the way rockets are constructed. Relativity Space is headquartered out of Los Angeles and was founded in 2015 by Tim Ellis and Jordan Noon, who met in 2010 at USC's student-run Rocketry Club. Ellis started out as an intern at Blue Origin and helped the company incorporate 3D printing for the BE-4 engine. Noon started out at SpaceX, where he worked on the Dragon spacecraft before jumping over to Blue Origin in 2013, where he was reunited with Ellis. So over the last three years, Ellis and Noon have raised $45 million. Some of it was used to construct the largest robotic 3D metal printer in the world, called Stargate. Stargate is definitely one of the coolest things I've seen this year. It looks like it's straight out of Westworld. Relativity claims that with Stargate, they'll be able to manufacture rockets from raw materials in only 60 days. And they'll be able to print about 95% of the rockets, everything except for things like electronics and rubber seals. The printer will be able to manufacture complex parts that would normally have to be welded together and involve countless bolts, nuts, and other fasteners, along with many man hours of labor. And that's what they plan to do with the Terran 1 rocket, which will only have 1,000 parts instead of 100,000 that it would take to build a traditional rocket of similar size. The Terran will be a two stage liquid methane propelled rocket with a payload capacity of 1,250 kilograms to low Earth orbit and a launch cost of just $10 million. Their goal is to complete the development of the Terran by late 2020 and start commercial launches by 2021. And they're already deep in the development of the Terran's rocket engine, the Aeon-1, having test-fired it over 100 times. Capable of producing 68 kilonewtons of thrust at sea level, the Aeon is a baby compared to SpaceX Merlin-1D, which produces 914. But the Aeon is amazing in other ways. The engine is printed from only three parts. Three. And is produced in just a month, compared to a typical engine that has around 1,000 parts and takes around 6 months to produce. And Relativity will be developing the rest of the rocket at a test complex in Mississippi at NASA's Stennis Space Center, where they signed a 20-year lease. The complex is 25 acres, including a 4,500 square meter facility that will allow them to produce 36 rockets per year, and eventually they plan to extend their footprint to 250 acres. In the short term, Relativity Space is targeting the small sat market, which is forecasted to grow to 320 satellites per year by 2023. So they'll be up against other small launch providers like Rocket Lab. But Ellis and Noon also have their eyes set on competing for military launch contracts down the road, which will put them up against the big boys like SpaceX and the ULA. And they already have potential customers lined up for launch services worth a billion dollars in the form of letters of intent and memos of understanding. And in the long run, Relativity plans to launch 3D printers to Mars in order to print rockets for return trips back to Earth, or elsewhere in the solar system. I guess they didn't get the memo that the BFR is designed for return trips from Mars, but we won't hold that against them. Anyway, Relativity Space has so much potential, but they still have so much to prove. They have yet to launch anything. And another thing I want to see from them moving forward is reusability. Imagine how cheap access to space will become when rockets are 3D printed and reusable. As it stands now, Relativity Space is definitely my favorite aerospace manufacturer not named SpaceX or Blue Origin, because it would be so incredible to build rockets in days instead of years. Alright, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.